Hello YouTube, this is Robot Cheesy, and welcome back to Wizard 111 Review Part 2. Um, the last time we talked about the character screen. Um, we still need to go into detail on that, but um, first of all, you're probably wondering where the music's at. Uh, you just press the escape key and you turn the sound on. And there you go. Uh, but, it's, but, but it's pretty... Sometimes it's really hard for me to talk out loud and uh, go over the music. And go like, I'm trying to talk over this music! And stuff like that. So, um, back to the character. So, um, I already went through this page right here, but there's more tabs up here. So, this is going to be a long review. So, um, I also forgot to mention that this game is turn based. Uh, so, like, you attack first, then the opponent, and then it's the second turn. And I'll go into detail on that later. So let's go into events character statistics. Anyways, all right. Here we got critical rain. Let's talk about Pokemon. Remember in Pokemon, um, when you go into battle, you use a attack, and sometimes it would say it's a critical hit okay take that into this because um, sometimes it um, says you have a crew you have a chance of a critical hit so that a little bit of Pokemon in this right here so block your block rain is blocking against critical hits. Uh, power pips is what you get um, for your school of, of choice. Um, so I get a 60% uh, of power pips for my uh, fire school, and that that's a lot. So I have a high chance of getting a power pit. Now there are items where you can like there's these new necklaces where you can have um, if you have a secondary and it's I'll just show you. It's just easier that way. So let me go to clothing. Oh wait, no, um, no, it's this, yeah. Okay, so they're called mastery elements, uh, amulets, um, and you can't do your own school, um, because, well, you already mastered it, so, um, like, I want the life mastery element, uh, amulet, so I can also get power pits for my uh, life school cards. So back to the character tab. Alright, healing in slash out. So this is um, uh, whenever you heal uh, it gives more of more of a uh, more numbers I mean more healing to you like I have 12% and uh, uh, my fairy does 35 and heals 101 and out would be something like ghoul or uh, vampire uh, stone resistance is 
basically anything uh, done. And uh, armor piercing is um, you can pierce through shields and sometimes stuns. So uh, now we go into badges. Um, badges are what you collect through the this game, and um, I have a lot. Seriously, look, I have way too many. Uh, it's probably because I played this game too much. Um, so yeah, um, it's what you can collect through the game. Um, you get more if you do um, the side quests. Uh, just do all the quests and we'll have more badges. So um, there's also crafting badges and um, uh, gardening badges. And I'll talk more about crafting and gardening later. So that's badges. Um, PvP and Derby Rings. So, this is. Yeah, this is. Further versus player ratings and uh, Derby Rings. So, um. It just tells you, um. Your last matches and how much you went. Uh, won and how much you lost. Your. PvP rating, um, your ranked pet derby matches, uh, like, uh, you gold medals, silver medals, bronze medals, and blue medals you got, and pet derby rating. So, <clears throat> now on to time slots. Time slots are for crafting and, um, they are used um, when you, whenever you craft something, like say uh, clothing or equipment. So, all right. Next up is a uh, backpack. All right, hold on here. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of talking makes me thirsty, so I'm pretty sure it make you thirsty too. So this is your backpack. Um, it holds your equipment items, your housing items, your snacks, your agents, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so. Let's see here. Um, okay, so um, I really don't need to go into equipment that much because uh, I pretty much covered it in the character tab. Because um, clothing gives you, uh, sometimes it gives you uh, actually strength and resistance and sometimes health so um and it it's uh it's it's the colors are based around your school and you can change them at the paint shop which I'll show you later so um your wands which you need, otherwise you'll be casting with your hands. Don't see why not. Um, and yeah, so assays are little daggers um, that just make my mind go like, okay, where do they put this? I mean, if I look at my character again, I don't see any. Uh, daggers uh, put in. Maybe it's in the little back, little backpack right there, but I doubt it. 
Um, ass names are um, little daggers that give you health and mana and sometimes uh, power pips. So they're useful. Get them while you can. Amulets are um, neck amulets are necklaces. Um, Ear one is fine, but um, yeah. Uh, they have cards in them, and they give you different spells, and uh, sometimes it's better. Uh, so yeah, um, and uh, you can get different necklaces in different worlds. Um, when you keep leveling up, so rings are also like as aims, but uh, you put them on your fingers. Um, they also give you health and mana, and sometimes power pits, and sometimes incoming health or outcoming. So, and then your pets. Um, which help you in battle, um, and sometimes give you cards or accuracy or resistance. It depends what you do with them when you train them in the pet palace, which I'll show you later. So, and then. You got your mounts, which um, help you go through the game faster instead of walking all the time. And I got this one from one of those 39 gift cards. So, yeah. And then you got your deck, which holds your spells, your treasure cards, and yeah, you pretty much it. So I will talk about spells later. Oh, so tired of talking. <laughs> All right. Um. Wait. Before I go into bed, let's go to into options since I pressed the escape key last time. So let's go to video options. This is basically what you want to do with um, the game. Um, the resolution is 800 by 600 and it's uh, windowed. Um, you can make it full screen uh, which goes out um, and I can't do that otherwise the webcam wouldn't record. Graphics detail low, medium, and high. Uh, so low and texture detail low. There's only low and high. Um, hardware cursor you can turn it off or turn it on doesn't really matter. Into advanced video options. Zoom active. I don't know what that does. Brightness is basically how much bright you want it to be. Holy crap. <laughs> it changes it changes on in your computer too. That's cool. Um smoothing, don't know what that does. Shells and basically shows your shells and darkness and stuff. Yay darkness. Oh wait, wait, what? Now it tells me? Okay, well, tell me what Boom Active does and smoothing. Jerk. Okay, particles. Regularly tell me particles are displayed for various effects. Less particles, better performance. Yada yada. Continually on to sound but options. Uh, so sound is, you know, turn on. Uh, turn. Turn on or off the sound, you know, put in your own music, stuff like that. 
Um, you can change the music volume, the sound effects, the dialogue. Um, I, whenever I talk to someone, I do music. I lower the music and sound effects so I can hear their voice and imitate it. So thank you, Jim Carrey. All right then. Uh, gameplay. Uh, overhead names. You could do everyone. You could do no one. You could do players. You could do non-players. You could do all others except yourself. Or you could just leave it on everyone. Uh, tutorial of tips. You can have them on. Uh, critical only. And, uh, okay, that's it. Um, I would suggest putting this on for beginners. It's very helpful. 2D combat with display is if you want it to be in two dimensional combat, otherwise, it would go into something else. Uh, NPC chatter is the dialogue coming in, you know. The NPCs actually say something. Chat menu is uh, for those with non chat under 13. So um, you can uh, change it. So chat balloons are those over 13, and uh, you can show or hide them. Quest helper um, helps you find your quest unless it's a um, a crafting quest or a finding the smiths or uh, finding the cats or lounging lizards, you know, stuff like that. I'll get into detail later that in that layer. <clears throat> All right, advanced gameplay option. All right, so you can into friends. Um, you can uh, hide your name away from friends if you want to. Dungeon warnings you can turn that on if you want to. It just basically says. You're going into the dungeon, blah blah blah. You can't exit, blah blah blah, and stuff like that. Low friend finder. Um, there's this basically. Um, you can enter a code. Uh, someone enters a code and gives it to you, and you just enter it in. Um, I'll show you that here. Yeah, just press the F button. Yeah, no. Oh. Um, yes, I am doing a video. So, um, they actually changed it. Um, uh, you press the mail button, you enter your friend's code, and yeah, you put it in. And then, they're your friends. For however they long, however long they want to be. So, she gonna answer? I don't know. Uh, privacy. Uh, boy. You want? Um, I will do another part here. So, to the next time to uh, with a roll on. Review part three. This is Roger Z. Sign off.